much for telling me that I haven't got a floppy drive connected when actually be needing it. Now, what else can we do? So, um, have we configured SSH? I don't believe we have. We missed off some tasks. So, when it's loading up, let's do some of those. So, uh, how do we do SSH? Well, it's a service, um, but this time I'm going to do allow. Re this isn't. This is the uh, way of um, allowing root access on a testing. Of course, when you're finished, if you're going to put it to production, I would hope you would get rid of the allow root command. Or at least set the uh, root password to something a little bit harder than Viata. Okay, what's the next next task? We've just done SSH, so now I'm going to set up NAT. This is also a service. Rule 10. Now, what's we going to set up? We set up first of all. We're going to set up the, I believe, the outbound interface. You can do it either way around, I believe, but we'll. I think we'll keep it consistent. We'll do the uh, outbound interface first. Okay, what is our outbound interface? Well, our outbound interface is here, isn't it? It's this one. Because it's from the perspective of a client, so, or sorry, from the router. So this one here is going to send traffic down here. So this interface here, if you like, will be the in interface and the interface here will be the outbound interface so we're looking for one with 10.0.0.1 on it which as you can see here is Ethernet 3 now what's the source well it's a source address but it's coming from 192.168.10.0 should be uh, I guess a source subnet or source network address but there you go now what's the type Type is going to be masquerade. Okay, we're going to commit that. And now the Wobble server is set up. HTTP server, really. I like Wobble. Here it goes. Okay. Let's check what IP address we have set up. Okay, that's wrong as well. This is going to be 10.100. Default gateway is 10.1, and everything else looks okay. Obviously, setting a DNS server, that's open DNS. Okay, uh, let's ping the default gateway first of all. Okay, now let's ping open DNS. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's set up IIS. Let's see here. Okay, I needed to go to an ISO image, and I believe I have the ISO somewhere here. And there it is. There it is. Details. That's all we want. The World Wide Web service. Leave it pretty much all of the default configuration. I could cut this out, but I want you to see all of it, I guess, for completeness. Once we've installed IIS, we'll uh, set up, um, we'll test the connectivity, sorry, from the server 
all the way out to the internet. See what happens. If you're already ahead of me, you'd have worked out something. You should be screaming at me right now. No, it won't work because. Come on, IS. There we go. Done. Okay. So. Let's test it. Not IS, Internet Connectivity. Ooh. Destination unreachable. Why is that destination unreachable? Hmm. Okay. Right. And if you're ahead of me, you'd have worked out why. Let's check. So, ping 10.0.0.2. Hmm, that works okay. Um, can you ping? Oh, network is unreachable. That's interesting. Ah, sorry, my bad. Run show IP route. And now you can see there that it hasn't got a default route. So that's why when we ping there, it's kind of network unreachable. It's comparing the 208.67.222.222. And you can see it doesn't work. So how do we do it? we got to configure a static route. Now we're all in configuration mode, so I believe it's set protocol static. We need to do a route. Uh, it's not an IP6 route, so we could ignore that. And it's slash zero, which is the default route. It's the next hop, and the next hop is 10.0.0.2. And um, we'll sure commit that. So how about now does it ping? And you're going to say, no Richard, it won't. Now, we're getting a different response this time. Let's check on the workstation. Mm, it's not network unreachable this time. So it's not like it's going to the routing table and saying, actually, I know what you're trying to get, but I haven't got anything that matches it in my routing table, which is a destination now unreachable. This time we turn around and saying, uh, well, actually, I've got somewhere for it to go, the default route, and I'm sending it there, but I'm just not getting anything back. Which is exactly the same as that's doing. So, hmm, why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? Ah, well, perhaps it's doing it because we need to set up network address translation on here. And you'll say, well, we set up network address translation. We have, but if we have a look at the, what have we done? We set up network translation for the 192.168.2.0 subnet, but we haven't set it up for 10.0.0 network, which is here. So, when the traffic is travelling along here through this interface and then it arrives out here, it's going, "Oh well, yes, I know how to network. I know how to translate that because it's coming from there and going out there." But when the packet arrives for 10.0.0.1, it's just sending it out here and then the, because it's not doing network address translation the router over here doesn't know anything about the 10.0 network so it won't, it won't come back what we need is to do we need to tell it to do network address translation for this network here so that's what we're going to do we're going to make sure we're in configuration mode we're going to set up a service it's going to be network address translation rule 20 this time now what's the outbound interface well the outbound interface is going to be the same as the other one E3. But the source, mentioned the source already, the source is going to be 10.0.0.0 slash 24. And the type, well, hopefully it'll be exactly the same type as we've had before. Let's commit that. Now let's take it back stage by stage. So let's go to VPN1 and see if you can get out. Okay, so that's now working. So not only is working for two reasons. It's working because now it's got a default route inserted. See the S, that means static, and the C means connected. So we inserted that static route, and we told it to go to there, and that's now going out OK. Uh, I want to run show configuration. 
and now we have an additional 